Hello everyone and welcome to Let's Mod. This is not going to be an ongoing thing. This is just going to be a thing that I do if I ever find something interesting enough to play on video. And I really rarely play mods, so this could just as well be the only Let's Mod on this channel ever. Who knows, things might happen. But today I am going to be playing one of my favorite racing games of my childhood. And yes, I know, this is Wreckfest, but there is a mod for this game available on the Steam Workshop that gives us the Destruction Derby maps from the games Destruction Der Derby 1, 2 and actually Raw, because I'm fairly certain that Simstock's Bay is from Destruction Derby Raw which used to be my favorite Destruction Derby game and still really is my favorite Destruction Derby game Oh, the amount of time I played the Vertigo map that's that's a uh, it's Destruction Derby on top of a skyscraper that uh, was a really good one but it, in addition to Destruction Derby, I also have added the Pro Series cars, which is just the normal cars, but with new paint jobs. And I did this because I felt that these colors fit more to the Destruction Derby thing. Because if you've ever played the Destruction Derby games, you know that the car colors were pretty much quite similar to what you've seen here. But, for now, uh, let's go and choose a map. And as you can see here, uh, Destruction Derby, a breakfast modification. That's pretty much Destruction Derby 2 cover on the PlayStation 1. And pretty much every other console it ever came out on. If it ever came out on any other console, I actually don't know, because I've only had the PlayStation 1 version, but let's play Cactus Creed with Crude Oil and Jake the Crash King, which is my car now. Oh man, I really shouldn't have put all the fucking torque in this car because it's so kind of hard to control this. What the Destruction Derby mod also does is add more damage to the cars. Like, you can actually eesh, deal more damage and take more punishment with this mod on. Then it also adds little explosions of flames when you hit something really hard. Which is not something we're going to be seeing right now, because I apparently only chose one lap. And only four cars. Hmm. That's from my previous video when I was showcasing the Sandpit 2 map in the flat-out retro demo thingy. That was a really quick look at the Cactus Creek map. Let's go with more cars into some other map. Now this here is Crossroads, which is, well, a crossroad map. It's pretty much just a figure of eight when Cactus Creek was... Uh, I don't really even know, it has... it had more crossroads than the... Uh, than a regular figure of eight. Let's see if I can actually work my way around these cars and become the first in the... Uh, in this one. Now that we actually have more cars than, than four driving around this place. Oh god. I can't even get through the first lap. Yep, this is gonna go horribly, horribly wrong. Ouch. That was a nice roll. And you have probably also seen the uh, classic 57 cars driving around here somewhere. That's That's another mod. I just didn't feel like disabling it for the sake of this video. Gosh, that's a lot of destruction going on. 
in this derby game. Ah, oh, jokes. But yeah, that's that's another car mod in this game. A really cool one. Oh, there, there goes one right now. Ah, oh, shit! Screw you! Screw you, people! Yeah, this is. Oh gosh! Way more going on right now. Now that I have added 23 other cars in this game, and someone already won this. Christ! Screw you, 57. And there's the explosion I was talking about. T-boned. Oh god! I'm the one being T-boned. Please don't also T-back me. That would be very bad. Especially when you are doing it on, on a race map. Oh, someone's actually <laughs> gone over the edge. Crap. Let me live. As it says on Claire Redfield's jacket in the Resident Evil games. It's a Queen reference. Do people listen to Queen anymore? Is, is that band still relevant? Oh, that car just flipped over. So, that has been the crossroad map. That was a lot of crossroads. It was very similar to Cactus Creek. But, there's still a lot more to be seen in this mod. Like, for example... Hmm... What, sh what should we go for? Pine Hills! Yes. And let's let's change my car. I really don't know how to drive that car. It, w it, w it was way too fast for me. Let's go with this one. Add the crew, because this game now has crews that you have to assign for a, for a car to actually drive it around. And you actually have to repair your cars too. Which is something I completely forgot to do. Oh well, there's learner driver being pushed around like usual. And if I remember correctly, that was amateur being rolled over in the background. Yes, these pine hills. And it has, if I remember correctly from the previous, well not the previous games, well kind of the previous games, but not really, <laughs> from the uh, Destruction Derby games, this raceway has a lot of jumps in it. And I was correct! Go away, little car. For you shall be pushed around a lot. See? Oh, hello, people. You are you are being cardboard cutouts, apparently. Mm. So much destruction. No, oh, that that head is growing, growing over the sides. Oosh. Turn the car around, you bastard. If I'm ever going to win this, that's gonna be a miracle. Because I usually just leave it for three to four laps each race. And that, more often than not, is not enough to climb the, uh, the positions in this game. The destruction in this game is really good, like, extremely good. I really like how these cars- oh, that was just <laughs> bouncing around on his, his hood. Yeah, as I was saying, the destruction in these cars is, well, not quite beam NG, but almost, almost. It's very good. I, I truly recommend this game, if you ever have had any interest in derby games. Or racing games in general. Well if you if you like the more arcadey style then this probably isn't for you, but it's really enjoyable for what it's worth. It's in early access, I think it's twenty bucks right now. Shouldn't be too bad. The reason I didn't make this a uh, let's demo episode is because I am playing mods and not the actual actual game. These are only going to be the maps seen in the Destruction Derby games. Mm. 
I really should get around finishing <laughs> my Destruction Derby 2 game. I've had it since my first PlayStation back in 1998, maybe somewhere around that time. Yeah, it's been so long, and I still haven't finished most of my PlayStation 1 games. Let's now go see the Destruction Derby raw map. Because thus far these have only been... I'm not sure which ones are from the original Destruction Derby. Because I've actually never played the original one. I've only played 2 and Raw. I haven't played the PlayStation 2 one either. Should get that one day. Let's go for Simstocks Bay. And this, for some reason, advertises a mobile game. Which is kind of strange. And here we are at Simstocks Bay. This really is not an easy easy map to drive around. It has a lot of corners, and the AI really likes to get bundled up like that. Mm. So much destruction. Oh. Whoa! Hey there. Ah, oh, crap. That's gonna hurt. Again, I might be completely wrong about this being from Destruction Derby Raw, but I distinctly remember a a bay map from that game. I really should remember more from that since since I've played it quite a lot. I've beaten it multiple times and bought every car in the game and all kinds of stuff. It's one of the few games I've actually like 100 percented. Ooh, I'm actually in the second position here. Ah. Mm, I really should probably learn to drive these corner corners better than this. Oh shit, is this really going to be... Yes, this is going to be one of these. What the actual bloody hell? Oh, here. <laughs> oh, I was... That was dumb of me. Oh, and you have probably already noticed, but um... Ah, crap. No, oh, I was so close to actually overtaking you. Yeah, I was, go I was gonna say that you have probably already noticed, but... The uh... Driver's names also change with this mod. Now oh, that's... That was horrible. At least I'm gonna finish third. No, you don't, you bastard. Oh, crap. Oh, it's only the second lap. I can still make this. I can still win. What was I saying? Yeah, the uh, <laughs> character names, the driver names in the upper left corner. They have changed from player 1 through 24 to the names seen in the Destruction Derby games. Because all those car characters in that game actually had names and, well, they were supposed to have different personalities, as much as you could say that in a racing game. But the only one that ever stood out was Learner Driver for being a bad driver. <laughs> as I am, right now. I've, I've actually had Learner Driver win one match in this game, which was kind of fun. Fun to see after all these years that he finally won something. And that's the finish line. Came in fourth, that's quite alright. And here we are, if you have ever played the Destruction Derby games, you know this map, and this is probably what you were waiting for me to show. Because Chalk Canyon is known as being the most brutal map. Well, one of the most brutal maps, but it was the most brutal map in Destruction Derby 2. As you can see, that's a really narrow part of the map. And there's this bumpy corner piece. Where you have to slot them around. I also upped the lap count. 
just for fun. Because I want to see all the carnage that can unravel in this map. And here's the giant jump over the sand pit. Which, weirdly enough, you could actually see... Oh, wow, I actually made the car fly! You could actually see the cars flying around that jump in the Destruction Derby 2 game. If you ever got stuck in the, uh, in the narrow part, for some reason you could see other cars flying almost above you. It was al al always a fun thing to see back when I was a kid. Ah, shit. Ah, I probably should have improved my own skills before coming into this. Hey, no pushing. We can all go around. I can hardly get through that corner. And I can also do this. Whee! Let's see what it's like from the inside. Oh, man. Oh, that's going to hurt. That's a lot of <laughs> rolling around. Jeez. Oh, God. Oh, where's my car? There's my car. Oh, that that driver does not look very happy right now. He's he's completely mushed up in his car. Let's keep going. We can still win this. We can be victorious. Or maybe my car is just going to explode. Just when I say that. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, well let's try that again. Went back to the garage to change my car and here we are with the rock block. Oh shit, already my car is being crashed into a tree. Oh that, that, was, that went so well. Reset my car back on the track. There's the uh... Jamaica car. Oh wow, that's surprisingly no one has gotten stuck there. What did I get stuck in? <laughs> no, 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 please don't roll me over. Oh shit, that's gonna hit me. Yeah. <sighs> We're on the same side. We're both tiny and European. Please have some mercy. These these tunnels also usually cause quite a quite a lot of trouble when cars get stuck stuck and just bounce around against the against the roof and no one gets out. That sounds like a horror movie. The tunnel that no one gets out from. This summer in theaters. That's also the worst movie name ever. The tunnel that no one gets out from. Uh, the marketing people should probably think about that a little more. Let's see if I can do this jump without cocking it up massively. Oh, I I completely ruined that car's day. Nope, 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 nope. Fuck. Oh, look at that car. Look at the condition that car is in. That's. That's a ridiculous amount of damage, and there's already one burning car. I think he is actually missing a wheel. Eesh. It's so easy to climb these, oh, climb these walls with these bumps around. And surprisingly, I made it through. I don't think these cars have the best parts equipped. To survive a race like this, because I didn't change any of the car parts, I just went straight into the uh, these races, and I don't remember where I've last used these cars. So for all I know, this this could be my gravel setup. Ah shit! <laughs> ah, my car is just bouncing around. I've become a tennis ball. And my car is also starting to look a little like a ball. 
Please make it make it over the jump. Yes. Nope. <laughs> hmm, that those those right side tires are more close to each other than they probably should. Hmm. Let me through. Rock block coming through. Are, are you all just completely destroyed? That's that's like I said. That's gonna cause a lot of trouble later on in the map. I'm in the race. Ah. Some wires in my brain that just aren't set up correctly. We I don't know why I did that, but let's look at the car roll this time without being inside the car. Well, that. That's quite anticlimactic, so I'm glad I didn't waste time changing the view. What is going on here? A lot of cars just burning on both sides of the map. I don't think I have the uh, realistic damage mod on that makes cars break down easier. Actually, no, I, I don't have it on because I would have been destroyed a long time ago. Look at this car. It's not This is not realistic damage and I actually am missing a wheel. I wonder when I miss, lost that one. Ah, crap. Oh, if my car just... Yep, it's still moving. I thought it gave up, but it didn't. Oh, you bastard just... <laughs> you poor bastard just lost the wheel. Hello, friend. I'm gonna give you a gentle bump. <laughs> I might actually made it to the end of this map. I mean, this this race. Why do, why do I keep calling this map? I had a similar problem when I was <laughs> making the uh, flat-out retro demo video. Oh, now my car can't even get up that that hill. Keep going, keep going. Yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> on that driver. The skinniest driver I've ever seen. It's almost like a stick figure. Oh shit. Yep. Made it. Made it through. I'm third. I, I'm pretty sure that that has a lot to do with the fact that most of the cars in this race are now completely destroyed. Oh, and now I just noticed how critical my car damage is. So I'm just gonna slow down and hopefully not get my car exploded. Ow! My head! Ah, <laughs> oh, that face palm! It hurts! Oh well. I guess that's the best we could do. Actually, there was only six cars left in the race. Oh, five. And now only four. Out of which only Taxman actually <laughs> beat the race. Well done, Taxman. And these other three were a few laps behind. We really can't have a Destruction Derby Showcase if we don't end up with a giant bowl of destruction in this last man standing kind of elimination race. And everyone goes to the pit. Oh, that's a, that's a lot of carnage. Actually, this map is named The Pit. For the simple reason that it has the pit in the middle of the pit. <laughs> I don't know why I'm saying that. It's like the way it sounds. Oh, you are never going to get out of here. I say when I see two cars getting out of here. Oh, well, way to prove me wrong. Am I ever going to hit anyone in this? You guys are just trying to keep down low. Hey, there's one car that I can slam a little bit. Oh, someone's already been destroyed. That's good. That's really good. And I am driving the... Uh, oh, the Classic 57. A purple one. Because I hear it's a really sturdy car. For some reason, last time I played as this car, 
uh, I got destroyed uh, very quickly. And I, that was just a regular race in the uh, in the regular maps this game already has. But apparently now it's taking a whole lot more beating. So maybe they upgraded the car. Who knows? Hopefully I don't have to resort to the reverse tactics quite early on. Because as you as you know, uh, the motor in most cars is on the uh, in the front. So when I am reversing, I deal less damage to my own car when bumping into these bastards. Oh yes, you, 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 gotcha. Oh, my guy actually has his arm out of the window. Like a cool guy. I don't think that's the wisest thing to do in a demolition derby like this. But sure, let's, let's go with the cool guy thing. You'll probably have sunglasses under that helmet too. Now, did I actually hit anyone? Nope. Oh, I have one takedown. That's surprising. I still don't have critical damage on my car, so I should be fine. I actually haven't even checked if this car has the option to change the parts. So I don't know what parts this has come equipped with. Ooh, you are same color as me. And I took you down. It was only... A purple 57 can take out a purple 57. Remember that, kids. When you go on your vendettas and whatnot. I don't know what I'm saying anymore. There's only six more cars for me to destroy. You, you are going to be shunted and bumped and rolled over. Ooh, breakfast car. You advertisement, you. Come here. I'm gonna pull that sticker off your car. Oh, now my car is critical. I should probably switch to reverse like that car has. And now he's rolled over. What I like about this, compared to making the retro demo video, is that this game has sound and it's loud and the cars are like how cars should be this time I don't have to add any extra music in it to make it seem less I don't know quiet it's just really weird to have a game that has no sounds it's like playing the game on mute whoever plays games on mute I still have five opponents. I'm only seeing these two guys. Oh, there's one. Oh, the breakfast car is still going. Oh, critical damage. Uh, my car is quite poor. On both sides. Let's see if I can actually make it to the end of this, this race. Oh well, this demolition derby. Hello? Anyway, oh shit, I could have just gone straight forward and hit that car. He was too dark inside the uh, car pile. So I didn't really see him. Uh, you, you are going to be taken down and I was taken down myself. Well, that has been the Destruction Derby mod for breakfast. It's a really cool drive back down memory lane with the uh, the raceways I remember from my childhood it's always fun to go back to the simpler times and here as we look into Dr. Destructo's car 
I bid you farewell and I will see you in the next whatever it is I decide to do. Thank you for watching and go do something else with your time. Bye bye.